everybody, it's Margaret, and I'm bringing you a haul video today. Um, Thursday, I went to a garage sale, which is unusual. Normally, they don't fall on Thursdays around here. But when I went, I forgot that I'd empty my purse of money. Uh, but I went back because I saw these two cassette tapes, the B-52s and Devo, and they were a quarter a piece. Uh, so I went back, and luckily, they were still there. <laughs> and I picked them up, and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to lot them together and sell them or if I will just keep them. <laughs> um, but when I went back, I also started looking at their CDs. Uh, all their CDs were 50 cents. And what it was, was the family, it was like five members of the family or five households had come together. It was huge garage sale. And all of their regular CDs were 50 cents a piece and then CD sets were a dollar. So, I mean, there were shoebox after shoebox after shoebox after shoebox full of CDs. Uh, so I went through and I picked up um, all of the heavy metal <laughs> that I could find and just, you know, heavy rock kind of stuff. So I, and I've sort of lotted them up. And so here's like my whole Ted Nugent stack. So there, there's one set, you know, big one, and then a, lot, a little one. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to lot them up. Um, some of them, not necessarily the Ted Nugent, but uh, as I was looking up some of the CDs, I was noticing that there are remastered, re-released ones, and they can go for different prices, usually lower than the original. Um, so it's something good to know. So then there were three like ACDC ones, and there was one Black Sabbath. Let's see what else did I get. I don't even know this band. Blackfoot. Again, Blackfoot. Um, but I was I scanned them with my Amazon scanner, so but I'm not sure I can send in. I don't know if I'm clear to send in used CDs to Amazon or not. I don't know. So ZZ Top. We are in Texas after all. This is my Megadeth stack. Got some Megadeth. Some of these were pretty good. No, it was the Iron Maiden. This one, this Iron Maiden um, looked like it did okay by itself. Some Iron Maiden. What else do we have? Randomness. This is just Tool. Got some Def Leppard. A little Def Leppard there. And then these ones are, let's see, these, I don't know this band either, but there's two of this CD and one other one from this band, and they're called Dillard and Clark. <laughs> Dillard and Clark. And then this guy, he was just different, you know, so I thought, hey, why not look at him? The Edgar Winter Group. They only come out at night. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Flipping through them real quick. So we got a little Judas Priest. This is all just randomness. Sammy Hagar. Um, who is that? Oh, Duran Duran. That one might stay with my husband. Slaughter. I don't know that band either, really. And this is, oh, Made in Canada. Marijuana's Greatest Hits Revisited. <laughs> and then uh, Meatloaf. That's not an oldie. And then I got two other, or three other sets. This is Zappa. And then Wyndham Hill. I scanned that, and it was okay. And then Van Halen. So, um, yeah, I've never really sold a lot of CDs before. I've done a few Christmassy ones. But I, when I saw all of, you know, when you're faced with this much heavy metal, <clears throat> what you gonna do? <laughs> Rock it! Um, so, yeah, I mean, it may not be a huge return, but it might, you know. It was 50 cents a CD, so if I group them up or, I don't know, we'll just see. Uh, and then these were like promo CDs. Kahlua, B-52, just plain fun. Party music. I don't know. They were they were fun, and those were a quarter a piece. So I thought, why not? We'll give it a try. Um, this is what I like so much about this business uh, is that I can try different things and see how it goes. And if it doesn't go so great, then I am gonna be blasting the Ted Nugent. <laughs> blasting the old Ted Nugent and scaring the neighbors, scaring my kids. All of that good stuff. Okay, now that I've got all that cleared away. Friday, I went to a couple garage sales. Didn't get a lot. I periscoped these finds, so I will share with you. One is a glass. It's Funshine Bear, and that's a Pizza Hut promo glass. That was a uh, 50 cents. And then this vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cup. And this is like a foam outer, I don't know, on this giant cup. It says Big Mouth. I couldn't find one just like it, so I have no idea what it will go for. Uh, but that was a quarter. This one, I think, may go maybe $10 or so. We'll see. 
Then I got a couple pieces of jewelry. Anyway, I got a little a frog enamel looking um, brooch. People like frogs. And then, and so that was a dollar. And then this was also in the dollar um, box. And it was a ring, but I noticed that it had marcasites on it and the, the silver was all tarnished. And so, yeah, I need to turn it, uh, tarnish it up. I need to polish it up and uh, see more. I can see that it's got 925 marked on there, and there's another marking that I can't read. So I'll clean it up. And I think this is, you know, more like a crystal rather than um, just like a rhinestone. I mean, the back is really nice. So that was a dollar. We'll see how much that goes for. Where's the color changed? There it is. There it is. And then this I got also. So I got this and a couple. Where is it? They're hiding. At this other garage sale. Come here, you. Come on. Reach, reach, reach. Okay. So at the next garage sale, that was all at one. So that was like $3 there, about $3. But at the next garage sale, I spent $2 and I got this handmade bag, a little hot stuff. It's a little devil. He's holding a marshmallow. Here's how I know it's a marshmallow because there's also an apron. <laughs> and the apron has got the, the mouse with the marshmallow and the cat. They're making s'mores or roasting marshmallows or whatever. And that says a little hot stuff too. And that's a handmade apron. So pretty cool. So the apron and the bag, that was 50 cents. And then I also picked up this. And it's a vintage rattle. And that was 50 cents too. And this is silver. So I just need to polish it up. So that should do very well, I think. I, I think I'll probably put it $50 or more. Because I've only seen one like it. And it wasn't a deer. It was just like a little, looked like a little rubber ducky. But I think the deer is really awesome. So I think it could do better. I think so. I think so. Okay. So then today I went out with Tanya from Thrifty Treasures. She doesn't live far from me. And we went um, to some garage sales today. All right. So one of the garage sales we went to, uh, they had some racing shirts, uh, cycling type racing shirts and they do have the company's name a company's name on them that sponsored them but they are a good brand that someone might just use when they are training you know they've got the pockets in the back um, so there's two of those two of those shirts and the bib and they're not used the guy got them and then he, she said he tried them on, and then something came up that weekend, and he, he didn't get to race. And so that's the bib that has the, the padding for the bike-type shorts, you know? So that all of those pieces were $4, so that's a really good deal. Um, the shirts, I'm not sure exactly how much they'll go for, $10 or more at least, um, just because of the subject matter. And then the bib might be quite a bit more, 30 or so. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'm a little off today. I'm kind of tired. But at that same garage sale, this was like on top of a bookshelf in the garage, and I yanked it down. Not yanked it, but I pulled it down, and I thought the lady was going to say, oops, that wasn't supposed to be up there. That's not for sale. Um, but it's a quilt, and I think it's handmade just from the way it's put together and everything. I'm going to have to get my mom to look at it, but I'm pretty sure just the way that it's basted and I'll get my mom to look at it. But it's... Um, it's not a huge one. It's just like a lap type quilt, maybe, to put on the back of the couch or something, but it's pretty bright. Um, either we keep it or I sell it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so that was one garage sale. <clears throat> and then another garage sale, I picked up a wallet. And it has, you know, um, license plates on it. I'm off today, y'all. Need some sleep. It's pretty clean. The only thing I noticed later that was kind of a bummer is that the coin purse on the inside is missing the zipper. I didn't notice that. But this was a dollar. I think I could still sell it okay. I think it'll still be okay. Mm -hmm. um, what else did I get from that same garage sale? Oh, it was for the kids, Pokemon books. And then at another garage sale, <laughs> I picked up some jewelry. And uh, I picked up more than I had planned on because I, this bracelet, it was really pretty. But I wasn't necessarily going to get it, but I dropped it right in front of the lady and one of the stones popped out. 
and I have the stone and I felt really bad since I dropped it and the stone popped out uh, so I bought it <laughs> uh, it was a dollar and then I got this and it's a you know one of the sweater clips that the ladies would wear and this was a dollar so that's gonna go on Etsy and eBay and then this bracelet it's silver I'm not sure that I'll post it it'll probably go in my silver scrap bag um, for when I ever sell my silver scrap pieces um, and that was a dollar as well so that was that and then the next garage sale we went to I got some kind of fun stuff right so I got this this is from the haunted mansion it's a little I guess a McDonald's type toy and you pull that out and then the mummy go Rawr! Uh, so I don't know what that's going to be worth, but that was a quarter. Wow. And then this also, I've got to look this up too. It's ET, but it, it's a little viewfinder. So you look in there. I don't know if I can do this. We'll see if we can make it work. There we go. Ah, no. So you look in the little hole and then you click the foot. And then it switches the picture for you. There goes the ship. Oh, there it goes. Let's see if I can click it again. There he is in there. Elliot. There he's hanging all weety. <laughs> anyway. So that's pretty cool. And uh, so that was 50, 50 cents or a quarter. That was pretty cheap. So I was happy to pay it. And then I also got a spider punch for like scrapbooking. That was a dollar. And I just sold a, a pumpkin one of these. So I need to put that up. And then this is a fender uh, magnet. So it's got some magnets on the back. And that was a dollar. People like their fender. And then these were a surprise. <coughs> Excuse me. I picked these up just kind of on a whim. They're the they're glass paperweights, and there's a pear and an apple, and it was either two or three bucks. Um, but when I looked them up, the pear, I only found one pear selling on Etsy, and it was selling for like $50. And the apple, I saw a couple apples, and they weren't selling for that much, maybe 15 So I'm thinking I'm going to lot them together and sell them together. But that was a big surprise on how much that pair was selling for so we will see we will see and then the last one we went to was like an estate sale it was on its last day everything was 50% off and I picked up some prints and these are from um, Dickens stories so there's Fagin from Oliver Twist the Artful Dodger and um, Mr. Bumble those are all from Oliver Twist and then these are this is Bar um, Bambi Rid mm, Barnaby Ridge and that's from a different story and then these two are from Pickwick Pickwick Papers is Mr. Pickwick and Mr. Wells Sr. Weller Sr. There we go. So those will get lotted up together to sell and I think they're going to do pretty well because um, people that love their Dickens love their Dickens. Uh, my grandmother was an English professor and she taught Chaucer and Dickens and stuff like that so she would have liked that uh, yeah, she would have liked those. So, and then also, this is the first thing I saw when I walked in. I saw him sitting on the, standing on the shelf, like, oh my gosh, Don Quixote. So Don Quixote came home with me. Um, I have like a, a metal, like a copper Don Quixote that usually stands on my um, mantle. And I saw him, that's awesome, but he's going to go for sale. So Don Quixote's going for sale. I don't know, I think I can get, because he looks hand-carved. I may put, you know, 30 plus dollars on him because of the subject matter. He's awesome. And then this little girl, I picked her up too. Oh, did I tell you how much he was? He was $2. And she was $2. <clears throat> and her little hand squeeze. So, I don't know. Um, she's just a little international doll. It's kind of hard to tell. I think she's supposed to be Ireland, but then she kind of looks like Germany. So, <laughs> maybe she's Germany, maybe she's Ireland. She's kind of got green hair. It's kind of green greenish grayish weirdness but I don't know the green makes me think Ireland but the feather and the hat makes me think Germany and this makes me think Germany 
Wow. Anyway, so we'll see how she does. And then there were three of these um, Beswick um, figurines, and these are from Beatrix Potter. This is Miss Tittlemouse. And these were uh, $2 a piece, or these three, these were $3 a piece. So Miss Tittlemouse, and she's going $30 and up on Etsy. And then this is the fox, Foxy Whiskered Gentleman. And I didn't see anyone selling him on Etsy, but I saw some on eBay. And same thing, you know, 30, all the way up to 90 people selling this guy. So, you know me, I'll, I'll go high. And then one more, and this is Mr. Jeremy Fisher. And he was also $3 and same deal. You know, he was going, from what I saw, $40 and up on the Etsy. So these are going to go up, and I think that's the end of my haul. Um, all right, well, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, sorry, I'm not a bundle of energy. I guess I need more sleep. Uh, so we'll take care of that tonight. And that's it. So I hope you're having a good week. I hope you found lots of treasures. Uh, make sure you go out and enjoy yourselves, and I will talk to you later. Talk to you later. Enjoy yourself. Bye.